to another. What the hell is this? Probably wondering, what are these? Well, let's find out. A lot of you have been wondering, how can I swim without getting water up my nose or ears? As you can see, these are earplugs and these are nose plugs. And what they do is they prevent water from entering your ears and nose, as you can see. So this looks like, just like an earphone plug. You plug it like this. You're probably wondering, does this like improve the sound quality as I'm swimming? The answer is no. I, I hear just as much noise in the water with these th things on or without them. Let me answer the question. How do you stop water from entering your ears and nose? First of all, your ears, as you can see, you can't really stop the water from entering your ear. It will happen eventually, okay? And you, you get that feeling where the water is trapped in your ear. I know that feeling you're talking about. I get that all the time. And what can you do? Well, there's so many people come up with these solutions. Well, my only solution after years and years of swimming is just ride it out. Just let it gradually exit your ear a few hours after your swim. Okay, that's the only time water really exits my ear and the water will eventually pour out. Okay, just don't fight it is what I'm saying. Just let it be. So what about your nose now? Well, the trick to stopping water from entering your nose, and when I say enter, I'm talking about the nose cavity, okay? Water always enters the nose as you're swimming, and it will enter around here. Same with your mouth. Water, as you can see, will always be in my mouth and nose. It will be in here, and it will be in here always. But the trick is, I don't drink the water, and I don't snort the water. Snorting the water is what you want to avoid. Not avoiding contact with the water with your nose or mouth. So how do I stop it from snorting up? Well, I just don't snort. And I do the opposite. I control the water by exhaling through my nose. Or I just pretend that I have a cold and I just cut off the air supply that's going through my nose. <laughs> Breathe through your mouth first. Master your mouth breathing first, and then you can move on to combining your mouth and your nose breathing at the same time. You're probably wondering, do these things that I'm holding in my hand right now, do they help? Well, <laughs> yeah, they will cut off your air supply, obviously. Duh. I'll give you my honest opinion. First of all, if I put these in my ears, okay? Kind of like normal earphones. They look pretty stupid to me, okay? If I put this on my nose right now, onto my nose, this looks pretty stupid to me. And if I see anybody wearing this at a pole, I could easily tell that they're a newbie, okay? These are so goddamn uncomfortable. This is hurting my nose. And these are hurting my ears. Once I put my sim cap on top, right? Because I don't want these earphones falling out as I swim, which they will. I can feel the earphones digging into my ear canal. I can feel this thing digging into my nose. And do they work? Well, let's find out. said that they cut off my nose air supply altogether and it keep water from entering my ear but here's the thing oh god damn it these are so uncomfortable unbearable i can't wear these for oh, like a few minutes it's just it's too painful they hurt and they don't help me in the long run because eventually i will have to swim without these things on there will be a point where i'm in a situation like I'm in open water, and I don't have these things like this. And I probably don't even have goggles or a swim cap, and I'm just gonna have to learn to swim without these things, eventually. So these things don't really help me in the long run. They, don't, they teach bad habits, and they will fall out 
eventually. And look, these things will sink or you will lose them. Look at that. Okay, and if you're swimming in a pool, if you're swimming in an ocean, you will lose these things eventually over time. And you're gonna have to get a new pair and then another pair. Do you need nose plugs and ear plugs? No, you don't need them, okay? They will not help you in your swimming in the long run. What you really need to understand is how to deal with water getting into your ear and nose. And like I said before, water will always be entering your ears and you will get that uncomfortable feeling or the water stuck in your ear and you're just gonna have to deal with it and let it ride out after your swim every time. As for nose, we all snort water up the nose cavity as beginners, okay? We all suffer, we all drink water, we all snort water. That's just part of the learning process. It's a growing pain, okay? You gotta have to deal with it. Over time, your body will adapt. It will get used to it and say to itself, I don't wanna snort any more water, it's too painful. I don't wanna drink any more water, it's too painful. I'm going to shut that part out of my system once and for all, okay? It takes time though, repetition is what you need to build. Don't waste your money on these silly, stupid products. Instead, invest in a good swimming program like 7 Days Swim CEO, my swimming course that teaches you how to swim from A to Z, from start to finish if you're a complete newbie. Thousands of students enrolled taking this course, and you can join our Facebook group if you don't have the money. You can just ask me questions there, post clips of your swimming there if you want, and I give you feedback, and you can just, yeah, to your heart's delight. But the thing is, you gotta take action, okay? You gotta learn from your mistakes, and this is a mistake, okay? Stay away from these things, okay? You don't need it. You just need to take action and go out there and seize the day. <laughs> take your fist and smash me with that like button. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye-bye.